Welcome back, it's Joseph for Zenny62. So as you can see, I made Mark Davis a Mini Cooper, I Love Mini Cooper t-shirt. Now, as we all know that Wednesday in Las Vegas in one of the strip malls by TJ Maxx, um, Mark Davis was involved in a mini accident, pun intended. Now, according to reports that this young lady who was driving a SUV vehicle and he was driving his Mini Cooper when in an accident, according to Mark Davis, it was a low speed accident and uh, you can see they probably exchanged information but they took care of it supposedly out of any other uh, insurance needs now Mark Davis stated in the Las Vegas Review Journal and I quote no big deal he further went on to say I was going three miles an hour around this roundabout things not sure what that means Davis added he was going to to hopefully fix the damage to his Mini Cooper today, Thursday afternoon. So, the other thing that I found interesting besides this being news was the fact that TMZ <laughs> had to find out that Mark Davis was actually L. Davis' son. But they quoted, this is one of their, their reporters that reported the bigger issue, Mark Davis reportedly is worth more than $500 million. And it further goes on to say, was spotted near TJ Maxx and drives a Mini. How? So, who cares what he drives? <laughs> and why are you so busy counting other people's money? You know, this is... And that's the beauty of what we know the Raiders to be. They're just a down-to-earth, blue-collar, everyday man who faces adversity. And, you know, you know, $500 million, great. You know, but we know that Al or Mark Davis themselves, they've never been flashy people. And there's something that has to be said about having the humbleness to not be, say, well, I can't drive a Mini or I can't drive this other vehicle. You know, the one thing that I, I do remember always is that Mark Davis and his family were never flashy. You know, I remember when the talks of the Raiders coming to Los Angeles again for the second time, he spent quite a bit of time here in Los Angeles, and he would always go to these nice restaurants like Dan Tana's, and he would show up in his white caravan. And everybody knew it was his because they saw him coming out of it. Plus, it had a Raider license plate on it. So, you know, who cares how much money he has? He doesn't have to drive a certain vehicle, you know. And, and that's just his M.O. You know, I bet you go to his house. He has a beautiful house. I'd rather spend the money on a beautiful house than in a car. I'll tell you that much. So, just some food for thought. And uh, keep it here on Zenny 62 And don't forget to like and subscribe.